Come on, guys. Thought I'd switch on a minute earlier than normal today. Give, give everyone like a bit more chance. <coughs> Welcome to a new week. Really nice weather outside. First time I've done it without having to wear a beanie or anything. So, welcome to another hit. Half an hour, uh, five, six minute body weight warm up. Um, nice and easy warm up just to get your muscles moving, your heart rate elevated. And then we'll get into the hit workout, which is 25 minutes of intervals. You've got timed rounds and we've got a Tabata. Always love a Tabata. So, give everyone another minute or two. Sign up, join in, get ready. All you're gonna need is yourself, a bit of space, water, towel, I actually remembered my towel today. And um, a yoga mat if you have one, um, just you know, soften the surface you're working on a bit. So, when you've logged in, signed up, give us a little thumbs up or a wave just to say that you can hear me, you can see me alright. And we'll get to it. about ready so like I said start off with a warm-up just five six minutes warming the body up and then we'll have a quick minute breather and then we'll get into the main workout so if everybody's ready we can start with our little mini warm-up circuit so what we're gonna do nice and light jogging on the spot on your toes nice soft knees Shut the backwards and forwards if you like. Again, nothing too strenuous, you don't have to hammer the speed, it is just light. <clears throat> and then from here, we're going to go into some forward lunges. In three, two, one. So nice long strides. Again, nice steady pace. You don't have to hammer this, it is just a warm up. So from here, we're gonna go into some high kicks. In two, one, and all we're gonna do is kick the left foot with the right hand, with a little shuffle on the ground, and vice versa. Now you don't have to do the shuffle, you can just kick. Kick. I like the little shuffle, so shuffle, kick, shuffle, kick, and then from here we're going to go into alternating toe touches. So two, one. What we're going to do is spread our feet nice and wide, soft bend in the knees. And we're going to put the right hand, the left foot, and vice versa. Easy. Yeah, nice twist in your core. And then from here, we're going to go back around full circle to jogging on the spot. In two, one, jogging on the spot again. Again, nice and light. Shorter rounds this time. So the first time round, we we'll do about 30 seconds of each move. Second time round, we we'll do about 15. And into the lunges. Nice long strides again. And 
And it's back to the high kicks. As high as you can comfortably get that leg, you don't want to strain anything. And then alternating toe touches again. So take a quick breather, not too long. Want to dare it, Kirsty? Right. So from here, upper body. So we're just going to do some nice wide, full arm circles. So pinching your shoulder blades together at the back. You can add a bit of speed to this one. We want about ten in each direction. So ten forwards and ten backwards. And backwards. Yeah, nice and wide. Really warming those shoulders up. And I've lost count now, say. Nine, ten, and then finally we're going to do some little arm hugs. So you're going to wrap your arms around you. Left over right, right over left. Alternating again, ten of these. Really opening up the chest, pinching the shoulder blades together at the back. Once you've done those 10, we're going to get down on the ground. We're going to do a hip opener, hip opening exercise. So, little windscreen wipers. So, you can have your feet planted firmly in the centre, arms behind you, chest facing forward, and all you're going to do is drop the knees down to the left. You only go as comfortably as you can whilst maintaining the sort of forward, looking forward. So, if you can't reach the ground, don't worry about it. So, we want about eight on each side of this. Finally, we're just going to warm up the neck. Now, be gentle with the neck. Take it cautiously and slowly. Okay, all we're going to do is some neck rotations or little circles. Just all the way around, chin to chest, and nose up at the ceiling. Nice and slow. About five or six in each direction. Nose facing forwards, shoulders relaxed. You're just going to turn and look over your left shoulder, hold it for a second. Right shoulder, left, and right. That's it, that's the warm up done. Right, so, like I said, it doesn't take much, just a quick five minute warm up, just to get your heart rate slightly elevated, warm the muscles up. Now, it's already warm enough for me to take the jumper off and I've not even started yet. So first. Right, so we're getting into the main workout. So as usual, I've got some round time moves. Okay, I like to generally tend to do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I've got a bit of a different one today, later down the line. Um, but the first move we've got is an inchworm presser. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four rounds, okay? So what you do for an inchworm, Heels planted firmly on the ground, soft bend in your knees, you bend down so you feel a bit of a stretch in your hamstring. Don't, don't lock your knees out unless you're super flexible and you can. But I like to keep soft bending my knees, inch yourself out all the way forward into the plank position. So I moved my feet back then so I didn't disappear off camera and then we're going to press up. And then inch your way back up and stand up nice and straight. Nice, simple, alright. We're going to do this for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, four rounds. So this is an inchworm to press up. So, grab a sip of water. As usual, wait for my timer to go around. So, in position. Soft bending knees, feet hip width apart, heels on the ground. Turn the music up a little bit. Thank you. 
And you ready? Let's go. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Inch yourself down, plank position, presser. Keep those elbows tucked in when you're doing the presser. Hopefully you can see me. Good in, presser. Set your own pace. easy move to start with. So now we have a 30 second breather. Three more rounds. If you're watching this back later, you can make notes of all the moves and then you can set your own rest times for how many rounds you want to do. Two, one, let's go. Inch out, back position, press up. One more, one more. And rest. Round two done. Won't be long before we start doing these in the garden. Probably not at 8 o'clock in the morning because it's still pretty cold. But... Right, you ready? Round three. <coughs> Let's go. Keep those heels on the ground for as long as possible. Or as soon as possible when you cut it back in. If you're struggling with the press up as well, don't forget you can always do the press up on your knees as you come down. Put your knees down. Press up, and then it's back up, and rest. So that's round three done already. One more. That's done. Morning. Right. Next move we've got. Another round time. All right. Again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Four rounds. A bit more active this one. All right. Now this is a pulse squat jump. So, feet a little bit wider than the hip width apart. And you're going to squat down, pulse. So come halfway, not quite halfway. So it's a little. Pulse at the bottom and then jump. Pulse, jump. Now you can pause after the jump, so you can pulse, jump, and you can pause, then go back into it, or you can just go straight into it. Okay, this one is a bit taxi, and remember always land with soft knees, never land with like rigid locked out knees. You can have some damage. So Time to go around again. Twenty seconds. Four rounds. Thirty seconds on. Thirty seconds off. Pulse squat jump. Are you ready? This one's a little bit more taxing than the first one. And in three, 
two, one, let's go. Pulse, jump, pulse, jump. You can come up a little bit further if you want to. The pulse is just a little, little pulse at the bottom. Ten seconds left. Two, one. Round one done. Legs are burning already. period Have a sip of water, whatever you need to do while I'm explaining the Tabata. It's my favourite part of the exercise, the workout. It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, 8 rounds. I like to do 4 exercises and repeat each exercise twice. So it goes A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. So, first move we've got is plank jacks. So, you're in a plank position, now you can either be on your elbows or your hands. And a plank jack is you literally popping your legs out and back in, out, in, whilst trying to maintain that straight that spine. It can be difficult when your bum does come up a little bit, don't worry too much about that. God said, do it on your elbows if you want. My bum comes up a bit higher when I'm doing it on my elbows. So, that's move A, that's the plank jack. Right, move B is a drop lunge or pop lunge. So feet together, so you're going to lunge down, hop into the middle, lunge, hop, lunge, 
Again, dynamic leg one, that's probably going to kill after what we've just done. Third move, move C, mountain climbers, so we're back down on the floor, just bringing your knees up to your chest, one half together. That's move C, finally move D, here's the high knees. So on your toes, nice and light. Now, if you're particularly knackered by this point, march if you want, okay? Or you can put your knees out to the side a little bit. But I'm gonna go straight forward. It's always like sprinting on the spot. So, you've got plank jack, drop lunge, mountain climber, high knees. Is everybody ready? So what I'm gonna do, turn the music up, put a to track on, now we're going to get into it. Are you ready? Plank jacks to start with. So, plank position. Ready. Drop lunch. Ready? Round complete. 
Oh, and gas. Well done. So, quick breather, take a minute or two to recover from that. Whew. That was a good one. So, catch a breath while I'm explaining the next move. Now, different variations of timing on this one. We're going to do 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off, right. and heel taps. So, down on the ground, your heels are planted, your feet are about hip width, if not a tiny bit wider. The top of your back comes off the ground slightly, very slightly, and we do tap each heel. Now, you want to make it harder, put your feet narrower, you want to make it easier, put your feet wider. Alright, now mine's sort of mid range, and you just tap, 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 tap. So, we'll give you another 20 seconds, and then this is going to be 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're going to do six rounds, alright? So, I'm going to put my timer down here. Right, in position, in three, two, one, go. Really trying to track those abs. Three, two, one. 15 second break, right? Not quite enough time for me to stand up, so I might as well stay down here. And now, two, one. Go again. So I'm really squeezing my abs. You almost like doing a half, a little mini crunch as you touch your heels. And rest. That's round two. We've got four more. Let me know what you think of this one. It's the first time I've tried this timing method. Back down. Two, one. Go. Four, three, two, one. We're halfway. Three rounds done. Start to burn a bit now. Five seconds. Back down. Round four, two. One, go. Three, two, one. Two more rounds. We can do this. Back down. Two. Last one. Let's go, last 15 seconds. Keep those abs contracted. And stop. Whew. Well done. I enjoyed that one. Burns a bit, but I enjoy it. Okay. Next one we've got. Where are we? I think we shall finish with some plank taps. 
right, and a burpee. So we'll do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We'll go plank taps for 30 seconds, then we'll do burpee for 30 seconds, then plank tap, then burpee, okay? So plank tap, are 30 seconds worth of just shoulders, and if I shout elbows, touch your elbows, if I shout hands, touch hands. And everybody knows what burpee is. Ooh. Don't have to do the press up at the bottom, okay? Don't worry about that. Right, so start off with plank taps, are you ready? So down in plank position. Three, two, one, start with the shoulders. Set your own speed, you don't have to hammer it, it's up to you. Slowly go the longer you keep the core under tension. Go hands, tap, 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 tap. Elbows. And shoulders. Stick the shoulders. Keep those hips down, keep that core straight. Spine nice and straight. And stop. 30 second rest. And we'll go burpee. It's nearly over, don't worry. It's a good way to get up early and wake yourself up for a beautiful day. I always like to exercise in the morning, can't really do it this. Right, you ready? Murphy's. Three, two, one, let's go. You still got strength in your legs, let's have a nice high jump. You land with your soft knees as always. One more round of plank taps, and then that's all we've got time for. You can see after this bird piece. Right, final round of plank taps, come on then, let's go down. Keep your hips straight, hips, sorry, down, spine nice and straight, and let's go. Shoulders. Elbows. Hands. Elbows. Shoulders. Elbows. Go on, keep going. Last move. Hands. Nearly there. Shoulders. Keep it in the shoulders. And stop. Well done. I thought I'd make that last one 45 seconds. Right, that's it, we're done. So that's your half an hour workout with your warm-up included, tap two in the middle. Thank you very much for watching live. Thank you if you're watching later. Um, Again, you can view it on Instagram, Welcome Jim's Instagram. Uh, you can view it on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload this one. Um, let us know what you think. Feedback is always important. You know, I tried a new round timing, 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You know, I'd love to know what you think of that. On Thursday, I'll do the double Tabata. Let me know what you think of that. Um, yeah, your views and your continued support are always appreciated. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again later.